You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri, and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show by taking you to the Queen of Hills, Shimla, that recently hosted the annual Summer Festival, welcomes the arrival of summer in the picturesque hill station in Himachal Pradesh. Organized at city's famed ridge, the fiesta is a wonderful showcase of its rich culture and tradition. Have a look. <laughs> Presenting an amazing mixture of culture, heritage, food and glamour, Shimla Summer Festival 2022 was totally a gala affair that brought life to the whole city. Celebrated every year since 1960, the festival through its handicrafts exhibitions, fashion shows, live music performances showcased the local culture, spirit and art of Shimla. This year, on the festival's first cultural evening, a team of police band put up a beautiful show. Their performance enthralled the audience who were seen dancing to their songs on Packed Ridge Medan. Police walon ko perform karta hua dekh kitna maza aaya aur unko dekh kaise bilkul lagi nahi raha tha ki police wale aise perform kar sakte hain. Aise lag raha tha ki jaise koi professional singers ho aur unka hum live concert dekh rahe hain. Bilkul really very nice that was. We enjoyed a lot. I liked it very much. It's a sometimes initiative taken by the government for the police. Yeah, I like this very much. Such initiatives must be taken by the government so that it can boost their morale as well. It's something different from their at present working scenario. A fashion show was another highlight of the festival that was organized by the district administration and students of National Institute of Fashion Technology or NIFT Kangra. Around 20 students modeled at the show and presented the state's traditional attires with a modern touch. They were happy to get such an opportunity that will provide them an exposure as well as promote Himachali culture. We have a platform here, we have a exposure here and this is through NIFT Kangra and we are showcasing our Himachali tradition. Whatever is presented to us, all the craft of Himachal Pradesh, all the craft of Himachal Pradesh, all the craft of Himachal Pradesh. और हम इस प्रधान के थ्रू इस 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 फैशन शो के थ्रू हिमाचल के जो क्राफ्ट है हिमाचल का जो नैसर्गिक कला है उसको हम प्रस्तुत करना चाहते हैं उसको हम और उठाना चाहते हैं और विश्व स्तरीय पटल पे उसको लेकर आना चाहते हैं। Along with enthralling performances, food was another enticement that drew the attention of visitors to the festival. Mouth-watering dishes in different stalls made up for a delectable experience for the visitors. From savouring local dishes like Sidhu to tickling their taste buds with street food, people had plethora of options to indulge. First time we have tried local food and we have eaten Himachal local food. Sidhu, its taste is so delicious, awesome. No compare. किसी से भी नहीं कर सकते। बहुत मजा आया। और जो यहाँ का लोकल डांस है, फूड है, स्ट्रीट है, सब कुछ बहुत अच्छा था, बहुत अच्छा। Altogether, the Shimla Summer Festival is a wonderful conglomeration of different art and cultural performances that not just showcase the rich traditions of the state, but also promote tourism. Different religious communities reside peacefully in India. This bond of religious harmony and brotherhood is the most valuable essence of the Indian society. Today we will take you to Aligarh city of Uttar Pradesh where an interfaith conference was organized which was attended by leaders from different religious communities. Take a look. 
India is a country of unity and peaceful coexistence and it is quite common to see examples of this harmonious bond between Indian citizens in different nooks and corners of the country. Aligarh is one such city in Uttar Pradesh which is famous for its lock making industry and Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb, a term used as euphemism for fusion in Hindu and Muslim elements in the northern plains. Recently, authorities in the northern town organized an interfaith conference to spread the message of unity and brotherhood. इसमें सभी धर्मों के धर्मगुरु प्रमुख लोग और सभ्रांत व्यक्ति शामिल हुए हैं। इस बैठक में यही आयोजन का उद्देश्य उद्देश्य रहा कि धार्मिक एकता बनी रहे, स्वाहार्ड बना रहे और आपस में सामंजस्य बना रहे, अपना शहर शांत रहे और ऐसे ही तरक्की करें। हम तो ये भी नहीं कहते कि पड़ोसी दो किरे, हम तो सर्वे भवंतु वसुदेव कुटुंबकम की बात करते हैं तो निश्चित रूप से हम यही चाहते हैं हमारा देश ही नहीं पूरा विश्व शांत हो और सभी अपने अपने जी और जीने के जीने देने के उद्देश्य से आगे बढ़ते रहें। The conference was attended by leaders from all religious communities. Religious figures and leaders discussed about the long history of brotherhood in the city and the need to maintain religious harmony in the society. यहाँ डीएम साहिबा ने अलीगढ़ प्रशासन की तरफ से एक मीटिंग बुलाई थी और उसका जो मकसद था वो ये था कि गंगी जमीन तहजीब अलीगढ़ में बरकरार रहे और उसमें सभी मजाहिब के लोग थे हिंदू भाई मुसलमान सिख ईसाई उन्होंने अपने अपने विचार रखे इस बुनियाद पर कि किस तरीके से अलीगढ़ को जैसे अलीगढ़ तालीम और तहजीब का शहर है उसी तरीके से अलीगढ़ अमन वमान का शहर बना रहे भाईचारे के लिए अपने अपने मशवरे सबसे लिए गए और दिए गए और उसमें प्रशासन ने अपना पूरा इस बात पर जोर दिया है कि किसी के साथ नाइंसाफी नहीं की जाएगी इट इज डिफरेंट इवेंट लाइक दीज दैट शो हाउ इंडिया स्टैंड यूनाइटेड डिस्पाइट ऑल इट्स डिफरेंस एंड डाइवर्सिटीज and now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently the international indian film academy or ifa awards in abu dhabi saw a star studded evening as bollywood celebrities walked the green carpet at the award ceremony the ceremony took place after a gap of 2 years owing to the coronavirus pandemic Bollywood actor Vicky Kaushal who backed the Best Actor award for his role in the film Sardar Udham was among the ones attending the ceremony for the first time since the advent of the pandemic said media reports According to media reports Bollywood actress Kriti Sanon won the Best Actress award for a role in movie Mimi while Sher Shah backed the award for Best Picture I'm really excited that I'm nominated for the first time uh, for the best actress category uh, for this particular film because it's just been so amazing as an experience for me um, and it's gotten so much love and to get the validation from my part as well uh, feels really really great. It was the 22nd edition of the Mega Bollywood event that was instituted in 2000. Chinese nationals living in India rejoiced in an evening filled with musical performances and colorful dragons in the eastern West Bengal state as they celebrated the Dragon Boat Festival which is observed annually in Chinese tradition. People belonging to the Chinese community residing in India and locals alike flocked the open air festivities to observe the day while watching performers in dragon costumes dance to the beat of the music. We are having this uh, exactly as the typical traditional Chinese day. And in China, um, people uh, eat zongzi, that is the uh, rice cake wrapped up with uh, uh, reed leaves or bamboo leaves. And also, kids will hand different uh, threads of things to keep away the evil and even the pandemic. Performances at the festival which was held after a gap of almost 2 years owing to the pandemic also included dance and instrumental acts. Kolkata, the capital of West Bengal, observes the Dragon Boat Festival annually which gets its name from the Dragon Boat Race which usually forms the main attraction of the event. The day is observed globally on the 5th month, 5th day as per the Chinese calendar. It marks the death anniversary of the Chinese patriot and poet Qiu Yan.
Trains on the Heritage Railway line in India's northern hill station of Shimla are running at full capacity with tourists arriving from across the country in the region. With coronavirus cases declining, restrictions removed and summer vacations of children in full swing, tourists have reached Shimla in huge numbers to enjoy the toy train services, scenic beauty and the pleasant weather. Shimla is a world heritage of our Kalka Shimla Railway. और क्योंकि पूरे ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड में कह सकता हूं कि जो हमारा सिर्फ ना सिर्फ मतलब इंडिया का हमारा जो टूरिस्ट है बल्कि जो रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड भी है वो भी शिमला की तरफ काफी अट्रैक्ट होता है क्योंकि एक ये ऐतिहासिक हमारा कालका शिमला रेलवे है और यहां पे आना एक अपने आप में बहुत रोमांचकारी रहता है The train line known affectionately as the toy train line was opened in 1903 to connect Shimla the summer capital under British colonial rule to the North Indian plains. For centuries different religious communities have been residing peacefully in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Every year a number of fairs, festivals and events are organized in the territory that portrays the bond of harmony among them. Kheer Bhawani Fair in Central Kashmir is one such event where Muslims make arrangements for the festival of Kashmiri Pandits. No matter what religion we follow, we are one family. These words, showcasing India's strong bond of secularism, resonated loudly at the Kheer Bhawani Temple, located in Tulmala village of Jammu and Kashmir's Gandharbal district. Housing the shrine of Raganya Devi, a revered goddess of Kashmiri Pandits, the temple is the holiest destination for the community, who visit it mostly during the annual festival that falls on Jayesh Tashtami. Though it is a big occasion for Kashmiri Pandits, people from all communities eagerly take part in it, setting a beautiful example of peace and brotherhood. The Kashmiri Pandits and the Muslims have been a good way to do it. This is a good way to do it. And this is a good way to do it. This is a good way to do it. And this is a good way to do it. And this is a good way to do it. और आज आप देख रहे हैं मुझे लगता है कश्मीरी पंडित भाइयों से ज़्यादा यहाँ पे कश्मीरी मुसलमान सारे आए हुए हैं और ये हिस्टोरिकल मेला है और यहाँ इसको बढ़ावा देना और कश्मीरी पंडित जो भी आए हैं उनका हम खैर मकदम कर रहे हैं Inside the temple premises there is a sacred spring symbolizes goddess Raganya Devi also known as Kheer Bhawani Within the spring is a marble temple dedicated to the goddess According to the legend, there were 360 springs surrounding the main spring, but all of these have disappeared as land became marshy all around. Today, during the annual festival, devotees offer rose petals, milk, and kheer, a rice pudding to the sacred spring, to pay their obeisance to the goddess. Moreover, the Kashmiri pandits who couldn't visit the holy site in Gandharbal on this auspicious occasion offer their prayers at the replica of Kheer Bhawani Temple in Jammu. This is our very big day. We wait for all of this. And this is what you know about here. After the migration of the migration, they have made it here. But the real thing is that it is connected to the original. We have to go there every year. We have to go there every year. We have to go there every year. So we have to go there every year. वहाँ का जो एक प्रतीक जो है वहाँ पर उसका कुछ और ही हिसाब किताब है वहाँ पर हम जाते हैं तो बड़ी अच्छी श्रद्धा पूर्वक जाते हैं लोग बड़े बड़े लोग जाते हैं काफी लोग जाते हैं एक दो दिन पहले ही चले जाते हैं इट इज सेट पंडित्स फ्रॉम फार अवे प्लेसेस विजिट दिस टेंपल ओनली ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ कीर भवानी but for the entire year इट इज द मुस्लिम्स ऑफ द एरिया हु प्रे फॉर द रिटर्न ऑफ द हिंदू ब्रेथन टू द वैली Today, the festival has turned out to be the most shining example of communal harmony and brotherhood in the country and very well presents the Sufi culture of the Union Territory that binds people of different faiths and communities together. Leo Tolstoy once said, One of the first conditions of happiness is that the link between man and nature shall not be broken.
With the depleting forest cover and the increasing scarcity of resources, the United Nations decided to celebrate June 5 every year as the World Environment Day. This year, 2022 marked the 50th anniversary of the day. Let's have a look at how India celebrated this day. Environment conservation and global warming have become the need of the hour. Keeping the same in mind and spreading awareness regarding the cause, the United Nations recognized June 5th as the World Environment Day in 1973. The day acts as a reminder to people to be more considerate and aware about the Earth's existing conditions in terms of the environment and take steps for its conservation. In India, the day was marked in different cities by ways of different events and competitions. In the capital city of New Delhi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation and talked about the importance of Environment Day. भारत पर्यावरण की दिशा में एक होलिस्टिक एप्रोच के साथ न केवल देश के भीतर बल्कि वैश्विक समुदाय के साथ भी जुड़ करके काम कर रहा है अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर पर भारत ने कोलिशन फॉर डिजास्टर रिजिलियंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सीडीआरआई और जैसे अभी सदगुरु जी ने कहा इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस आईएसए ऐसा कि निर्माण का नेतृत्व किया है आर्ट वाज आल्सो यूज्ड एज अ मीडियम ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग द कॉज in Odisha's Puri city, famous sand artist Sudarshan Patnaya created a beautiful sand art to show people to work towards environment conservation. In the northern city of Prayagraj, a similar sand art was created to mark the day. A face painting competition was also organized for the students where art and face painting was used as a medium to portray the need to conserve the environment. हमने आज सैंड आर्ट को लेकर दो हाथें बनाई हैं साथ में एक धरती के बचाव के लिए उसको सेव कर रही हाथ साथ में एक सर लोगो भी बनाया है जिसमें हम लोग ने रिस्टोर रिक्रिएट का भी एक ऑप्शन लिखा है और लोगों से अपील करते हैं कि अपने वातावरण के लिए काफ़ी कुछ किया जाए जिससे हमारे आने वाले पीढ़े के लिए हम वो भी एक स्वच्छ सांस और जिंदगी जी सकें in the southern town of Rameshwaram, authorities organized a beach cleaning campaign in the Dhanushkodi area. Officers cleaned garbage and waste from a beach to spread awareness regarding land and water pollution and gave out loud the message of keeping our beaches neat and clean. A cycle rally was also organized to mark the day. In Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir, an event was organized at the Shere Kashmir International Conference Center to spread awareness regarding the World Environment Day. A science exhibition was also put on the occasion by students of different schools who through their projects presented models and ideas for curbing pollution and environment conservation. We have made models for the models to show how we can preserve water, how we can generate electricity with the help of water. और सारु ने अलग अलग टाइप ऑफ मॉडल्स बनाए हमने इसमें अपने मॉडल्स में दिखाया कि हाउ वी कैन जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाटर के सीवेज वाटर से और रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग हमने अपने मॉडल्स बनाए इन स्टेट्स लाइक त्रिपुरा एंड बिहार सीडलिंग्स एंड सैपलिंग्स वर प्लांटेड बाय लीडर्स पर्सनालिटीज एंड कॉमनर्स विद द मोटिव ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग प्लांटेशन ऑफ मोर ट्रीज एंड स्टॉपिंग डिफॉरेस्टेशन this year 2022 is a great milestone for the environment as it marks 50 years since the first conference that is 1972 Stockholm conference which marked the stride towards achieving a better tomorrow for all in terms of the environment. And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Canada marked Queen Elizabeth's record-breaking 70-year reign by shining purple lights onto Niagara Falls and lighting a beacon in Ottawa. The festivities in Canada took place as the UK kicked off four days of pomp, parties and parades, including the lighting of the principal Platinum Jubilee beacon at her Windsor Castle home. Yes, congratulations. congratulations. Wonderful, wonderful yeah. achievement. Yeah. My yeah. gosh. 
achievement very, to reign well. for 70 years and uh, she did really well. Probably yeah. would never be another one that would do that. And yeah. she's and done she's a very, very, very good job. In Ottawa, locals gathered as a beacon was led to honor the long serving monarch. Thursday marked not only the start of the Jubilee, but also the 69th anniversary of the coronation of Elizabeth, who became queen on the death of her father, George VI, in February 1952, and is head of the state of 14 other countries, including Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. She has now been on the throne for longer than any of her predecessors in 1,000 years and is the third longest reigning monarch ever of a sovereign state. Opinion polls show she remains hugely popular and respected among British people. Japanese company Rinnai announced the launch of its home hot water heater which utilizes modern technology that burns hydrogen as an 